To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Please stand clear of the doors. For favor, we invite you to the day. This is a wild story. I know this stuff. When in this free travel, all is changing. Hello and welcome to Miles from Main Street, your Far From Disney podcast. My name is Mikhailo. And I'm Brian. And we're here to talk about Disney World. But especially coping away from Disney. Which we know a lot about being from the Midwest. Here at Miles from Main Street, our preferred travel agency is Magical Vacations by Kimberly. Kimberly is a Disney expert and can handle all of your Disney planning needs. She can also plan Universal and all major cruise lines. Contact Kimberly at Magical Vacations by Kimberly at Yahoo.com. And find her on Facebook and Instagram under Magical Vacations by Kimberly. So today on Miles from Main Street, I've got my sister, Tatiana Lubov, here. And uh, we're going to talk about something that's pretty near and dear to our hearts, uh, one of our our favorite rides. We're going to be talking about the Haunted Mansion today. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So uh, I know, Tatiana, um, Haunted Mansion is one of your favorites, uh, definitely one of my favorites, especially at the Magic Kingdom. Um, And uh, a little bit of history, um, Haunted Mansion uh, was one of the last things that Walt Disney... uh, oversaw uh before he passed away um it they both the disneyland and the disney world iterations both opened up uh at this around the same time um the the disney world one actually opened up with the park in 1971 um and so that's cool it's a it's an opening um opening attraction uh it's still there um, and then the the one in Disneyland, actually, the building stood there for a really long time um, before they opened it. Um, so that's interesting, too. Uh, with the history with that, it's it's really cool to kind of see. I know there's a couple um, videos you can find online about um, Walt kind of walking around and, and pointing out all the cool different effects that they were going to put into the Haunted Mansion. And this was all kind of around when they first started to do Omni mover type rides, which is uh, the, like they have the doom buggies. And so all, everything kind of moves all at the same time. Uh, Cause before it was going to be a, a wax museum. Um, so that's cool that they were, yeah, they were able to, um, they were able to switch that around. And, and with that, they were able to get a uh, uh, higher capacity. Mm. So uh, a little bit of history there. Uh, obviously, it's a. Uh, I mean, if you if you don't know Haunted Mansion, um, then you're probably living under a rock. Um, but uh, it's it's a kind of like a, a spooky. Um, what kind of like what kind of ride? Like they have these at. It's like I can't find it right now in my in my brain. What kind of? It's like a. Uh, like they have them at like carnivals. Like what kind of ride like is this? A haunted house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even find that. Yeah, it's like it's like a haunted house type thing, but like uh like a, definitely a Disney haunted house. Um so uh Tatiana, um I know that you you like spooky things in general anyways, uh, but what are the what are the things that kind of draws you into the haunted mansion? I I love that it's spooky. I've <laughs> always loved um I had an emo phase growing up. I used to shop at Hot Topic and Spencer's. I don't know if Spencer's still exists, um, but I I love horror movies, um, and I love Disney. So it's kind of like the uh, child of those two things that I love. Um, yeah, and I love the movie. I don't care what people say. I love the movie that's based off of it. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, and there's always something something new that you can pick out when you're on the ride. And that's at least the last time we went, that's something that I was doing recently, um especially when you drop down into that like the last graveyard singy section. Mm-hmm. Um there's always some tombstone I haven't looked at and I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, and another another kind of piece of history is is um the so there's two different 
technically two different rides because there were two different Imagineers that were that were trying to pitch uh, what they wanted the ride to be like. Uh, so there's the scary section, uh, which is the, the, the front section, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then there's the whimsical section, which is the back half where they're, they're singing grim grinning goats and, and uh, there's all kinds of uh, crazy stuff happening. Um, and so that's, uh, that's another cool little, little uh, piece of history. Um, and that's one thing that I enjoy too, is kind of like picking out those little things because there's just so much, so much to that ride. Um, and that's kind of one of those, uh, because this is like a, a, an old ride. Um, like this, this ride came out way back in the day. One years. Oh, yeah. I just Wikipedia that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I should prepare some history. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and, and it's, it's kind of, I, I've said this before on the show, uh, but I really enjoy original content from Imagineers. And this was like mm-hmm. the, like the best time for Imagineers. It was like the golden years for uh, Imagineers because they were coming up with so much stuff. And it, it's, it's pretty typical for these older rides to just be jam packed with all of this crap, <laughs> like all of this stuff, um, all of these different effects. Um, and the, uh, Haunted Mansion, it like definitely takes the cake uh, for stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. I I feel like nowadays things are just going to be based off of Disney movies, which is still mm-hmm. great. Like uh, Ratatouille, I think is probably going to be totally awesome from what I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, I don't think they'll have any of this like original content anymore just because the Disney universe is so big that they have so many things to pull from. Um Which will also, like, I get it, that will satisfy fans um, and bring people in. Um, But, yeah, I don't think we'll probably see anything that's original content like Haunted Mansion. I honestly can't think of the last thing that came out. I mean, it might be Tower of Terror, which is another one of my favorite rides. Mm -hmm. Um, That was just, like, an original concept. Like, I, I can't think of anything recent. Yeah, it is kind of weird that they were basing Disney movies off of Disney <laughs> rides. Like that, that wouldn't be nowadays at all. <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> um, and the, I mean, and the big one uh, when that comes to mind is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, oh yeah, that one. That one did so well. Uh, but again, uh, like you mentioned, uh, I love the the Haunted Mansion movie. Um, it was, I mean, it's one of those movies that like I watch every Halloween just because, I mean, it's spooky and it's not really Halloween themed. Uh, it's just kind of like a, it's got that like spooky vibe to it. Um, and, and yeah, I, I loved it. I, I hear, uh, I, I hear rumors that they're coming out with a new one. Um, yeah. and, and that's when I hear people always give crap about, about the old one. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm like, I loved that movie. I don't know if it's, it's probably a nostalgic thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I have like maybe a third of the lines memorized or something. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I heard that uh, Guillermo del Toro was going to do the new one, but he Mm. recently either dropped out or creative ideas. There were creative differences, Mm -hmm. Um, but he was going to go more the route of like spooky monsters and it being more of like a horror movie (laughs) Mm. which would have been really interesting which i i feel like disney probably wouldn't go in that direction um but i also don't know i think that would have been really cool i also love um i love his work i think he's really great (laughs) um i mean and and along with that isn't I know that they, I mean, there's not like a Disney logo when this movie opens, but isn't, um, isn't Deadpool like technically a Disney movie since it's Marvel? Yeah. And that is a very (laughs) mature. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Yeah. And even when they made Deadpool, it was Disney that put it on. It wasn't even like Mm -hmm. they bought it after it was made. Like Disney owned Marvel before it was created, right? Yeah, so I mean, they they let that come through. So I mean, and again, it wasn't something that had the Disney brand, like like the the Disney font didn't come up 
before the movie, yeah. uh, which would happen with with uh, Haunted Mansion. I mean, unless they turned it into a Marvel movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, well, actually, so this this is something Tatiana that we like to do sometimes, and we we call it um, armchair imagineering. Uh, but this would be kind of like armchair producing. I don't know. Uh, but what if what if they had a Doctor Strange haunted mansion kind of like type thing where where Doctor Strange was in a haunted mansion and was doing all these weird things? <laughs> I think it'd be pretty strange. <laughs> that was really weak. <laughs> <laughs> I give you permission to cut that. <laughs> Oh, we're not. We're, we're we're definitely keeping it. <laughs> oh, this is the raw. This is the raw version, folks. Yep. But anyways, um, kind of going back to to some of the things that you like, um, Tatiana and I have both been to uh, both coasts. Um, we've been to California. We've been to Disney. Obviously, or we've been to, and that's that was just a not a Freudian slip, but that's just a slip. So whenever <laughs> I I say Disney. I'm referencing Disney World. Um, I think, and Tatiana, you and I do this too with our family. Whenever we say we're going to Disney, it's always World, um, which is which is kind of a, a funny saying. But um, uh, Disneyland and Disney World, uh, Magic Kingdom, we we've both been to those those two parks. Um, I was able to go there during uh, the Christmas time, so uh, I had the the nightmare before Christmas overlay, which I uh, I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of it. And I think that was because um, I'm just a huge fan of haunted mansion in general. Like I just wanted to see the original haunted mansion. Um, So I think that's, uh, that's a little bit why I wasn't too into it. Um, But you, you've been at the, the, uh, Haunted Mansion in California. What did you? What are the, some of the differences that you saw, or or if there really is any? Because I know they're pretty pretty much identical. I if there were differences, I didn't notice. Um, <laughs> I think they're pretty similar. I think it's things that specifically happen at the beginning and the end mm. that are different, like how you pan out with pictures with the ghost. For some reason, the ghosts. For some reason, I feel like that's different at Disneyland. But then again, I've only written it once and it was like we had to choose. I was was with a group of people and we were like, park's about to close. We only have one ride. What are you going to do? So I was like (laughs) walking around all day delirious. So (laughs) so that could also be why I think that my memory could be fooling me. But if I remember correctly, I feel like it was a similar experience. I would have loved to have seen. I haven't even watched videos of the um nightmare before christmas overlay so i don't even know um i could see like not liking it as much because i do love haunted mansion so much um but i'm still kind of curious to see what it would be like for sure yeah it's it's kind of funny tatiana for not being as observant um on the ride as i as i would probably think you would be uh you hit you hit the nail on the head because it's uh the beginning of the ride is different because a lot of the scenes that you usually ride through at land uh you're actually walking through in the queue at world um so the beginning of the ride is different uh in in land than in world Uh, and then at the end um it's got the original pepper's ghosts uh effects um at land where and Disney in Disney World now they have the uh, the projection the, where they're like moving around and like stealing your head and stuff like that. Oh, I'm so smart. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah, the to talk about the um, the overlay, the Christmas overlay, um, it's a lot. And maybe that's that's probably why I didn't enjoy it as much because you're not getting as much of the haunted mansion as you're getting the overlay. Cause there's so much, like every single scene is completely different and it's all just jam packed with, um, nightmare before Christmas stuff. So yeah, you, you just really, you weren't seeing, um, much haunted mansion at all, uh, as you're going through all of that. Uh, and I learned, uh, just today, 
because uh, I was I, I I did a little research as well that that opened in 2001. Um, so it's not even like a recent thing. Like they've been doing that for a long time now. Yeah, I believe that it it's a lot because the last time I was at Disneyland um, was during Christmas time. Um, but it was in January when I went late January mm-hmm. and the Haunted Mansion was still shut down because they were, I think, still clearing away mm. um, some of the uh, Haunted, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, they were still clearing away the night before Christmas decor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, uh, I mean, I, again, like I don't. Eh. <laughs> not not a huge fan of it like i didn't i didn't dislike it i think i think there there should be i think it would be really cool to just have a nightmare nightmare before christmas just ride like i i think that would be cool yeah i think um, it's popular enough um right? would you recommend so i'm oftentimes a person who will be like no i can't watch the video ride through i have <laughs> to experience it um would you should I watch a video of it or should I wait for some day to be there during Christmas and, and experience the overlay? So, uh, we're, we're, we're definitely siblings because I, I think that exact same way. (laughs) Um, I mean, I, I, I would definitely say wait and just go experience it sometime. Um, I, I do kind of want to, I know you're, you're probably going to be in, um, your performances, by then but i know i want to this summer go out to california and go back to disneyland um but i i mean i do that same thing um and i think the only ride i've ever actually watched uh before i've ridden it was uh mickey's runaway railway because um that was just everywhere um and it was really it was really hard to get away from so finally i was just kind of like you know what like this all looks really cool. Like all the te- technology looks really cool. I want to check it out. Um, so I watched, I watched a, a video and it didn't, it didn't really ruin it for me. Um, and I don't think watching, watching a, a ride through or anything like that would really ruin a ride because it's all about the experience and how you experience it. Sure. Um, but it did kind of like give me an expectation of like what it's supposed to be like. Um, and it, it it's kind of funny. It, oh, like with that ride, it almost kind of helped because you knew um, kind of like where you were going to be on the ride and stuff like that. I thought the uh, the dance class that you do with uh, um, Daisy Duck uh, <laughs> was really cool. And I, I remember watching that, watching that and being like, oh, that's going to be fun. And then um, as you're, uh, it kind of sucked because we were one of the closer, uh, uh, we were one of the pucks that was closer to the exit. And towards the towards the end of her little dance class, the lights all go nuts. Uh, and being a lighting nerd, uh, I really wanted to kind of look around and, and see what was happening. And so I remember us backing out and me like trying to turn my head and really trying Wait, to. Lights. Yeah. <laughs> but just uh, that, that whole ride in general, I thought the coolest thing was, um, I mean, a- a- again, as a lighting nerd, it's all pro- it's all projection mapped. So we went into that that little cubby and like you go on that rafting ride and you come out and everything's different. Like at, like the whole thing. room is different. And so uh, it was cool to kind of like see those things in advance and be excited about them. Um, but I mean, I did the same thing with Rise of the Resistance where I didn't watch any ride throughs. I had no idea what you en- ends up happening to you. Uh, and the experience was amazing. Um, and especially with the way that the queue happened, cause I could have easily had known that, okay, now we're going to go here. And like now in the queue, we're going to go here and this person's going to yell at you and you're going to, and you're going to get scared. Uh, so, <laughs> but it was so cool to just experience all of that, just like as they happen and not have any, uh, preconceived notions of like what it's going to be like. Um, so that's kind of like your your two different ways where it's like you can watch ride throughs and get excited about stuff and then go experience them or you can go and just experience it as it's supposed to uh air quotes supposed to be experienced um just like the first time and just like have everything slap you in the face which is why i think i loved rise of the resistance so much because like i had no preconceived notions going into that uh and it was all just so cool to experience 
Yeah, I think that was a good choice for that ride. Yeah. Um, so that answers Tatiana's question about Haunted Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, and, and, and as per usual with, uh, with this show, we like to go on tangents. <laughs> yeah, we went far away from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, with Haunted Mansion, they also have, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any of these, um, but they also have the, they have a Haunted Mansion, I think, in every other park. Um, it's not always called Haunted Mansion. Um, so there's like Phantom Manor. I think that one is the uh, Disneyland Paris. Um, and then there's, um, oh God, what is it called? <laughs> um, there's Phantom Manor and then there's... Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> you did that last time. <laughs> and then there's Mystic Manor. Uh, which is, I think that's the the newest one out there. Uh, and that one is, uh, it's one, one of the Asian parks. Uh, I can't, I can't remember which one it is right now. Uh, um, but they have a, they have a kind of a different relationship with death. Um, and so ghosts w- would, would have been a bad idea. And so it's more about kind of, uh, like enchantment and stuff like that and like magic. Um, but it's, uh, it's one of the most recent ones. And so a lot of the, that's one of the ones that I, I've watched a ride throughs. Cause I mean, I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to any of those parks, if ever, um, definitely, definitely bucket lists, but, um, watching ride throughs, uh, of those, of those rides, uh, the effects that they have on there are so cool. Um, and so that's, that's kind of one thing we could talk about, um, is we, we could be, uh, armchair Imagineers and say like, should, I mean, I know what my answer would be, but like, should Disney start up like really updating these rides, um, because of the technology that they have and their ability to, uh, make these cool stories. Um, what do you think? Mm, That's a tough one. (laughs) I almost like when they keep, they preserve some of the rides Mm -hmm. and then just keep expanding. (laughs) I mean, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That, that would definitely be my answer. I mean, my answer would be like, no, don't touch it. Um, That's just kind of like the, and I'm not that way. Like I, I am all for, um, changing things up. Um, of course I, (laughs) I'm going to get pretty angry if they ever end up, uh, changing tower of terror, uh, because that's something that's already happened at the other parks that turned into guardians of the galaxy, uh, or something like rock and roller coaster. Uh, but that's another thing where it's like, I love that ride, but if they were to kind of change it up, like maybe make a new, um, like have a new band uh like fall out boy yeah be like like a, <laughs> like a new band oh yeah definitely oh my god we're going down down we're going round, round. <laughs> yeah that would be perfect there we go we're gonna uh the next episode with tatiana it's gonna be about rock and roller coaster and about how we're turning it into a Fall Out boy uh themed ride <laughs> that's right perfect um but uh yeah i would i would feel the same way where I mean, I don't want them to touch it because it's just so special and it's so, there's so, so much to it. But at the same time, it's like all of this cool tech and like seeing Phantom Manor and like how cool it is um, really, I mean, and that's another thing too with, uh, it's kind of like along the same vein as this ride with Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Another one of the Pirates of the Caribbean in one of the Asian parks, it's that same way where like the tech that they're using in that ride is amazing. Um, I'm going to so yeah. watch these. Oh yeah. Spend some time and sit down and, and look at um, uh, a lot of the different parks uh, and their rides. Um, check out um, and uh, our listeners too should do this. Um, Tokyo Disney Sea. Um <laughs> well, we'll we'll talk about this too, but basically the backstory is that um Tokyo Disney Sea was basically just um like Tokyo just had a crap ton of money uh to put towards this um this park. Uh and so basically what was happening was all of these imagineers uh got with a whole bunch of uh 
people in Tokyo and just had like free reign. Like they could develop whatever they wanted to. Uh, and it was all basically um, Tokyo was licensing a whole bunch of stuff. Like they were basically just like, like licensing um, the Disney name. And so they were able to do whatever they wanted. Um, and it, and it ended up being one of the most amazing, beautiful parks that like Disney Imagineering has ever done. Um, so that's another thing to go check out is Tokyo Disney sea, uh, because that place looks insane. Um, and I think, um, that's one of the parks that has, um, uh, I actually think that that's where mystic manor is. Um, it's in Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. There we go. I, I, I wikied it. <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 keeping me honest here. That's good. <laughs> Maybe we'll just fly out when it's Are we able to fly out at this point? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Yeah, I We're think there's there's there. still a uh yeah. <laughs> but hey, I mean, um I got my first shot, so <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> I have a question about Tokyo. Yeah. Tokyo Disney. Is there a haunted mansion there? Is that something we need to look up? Uh, there might be. I I thought that there was a haunted mansion at all of the different parks, but it, but it might not be. And I know that um, Tokyo. So there's Tokyo Disney and there's Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh, which those those are two different parks. And this is Tokyo Disney C as in the letter C or S S E A like like uh body of water. <laughs> 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 um yeah and and so that's uh and I, you know it's kind of funny with that park I always actually thought it was like a sea world knockoff type thing. Um, because it's 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 kind of more towards that uh it's almost like a, a sea like world themed? yeah yeah um it's kind of and it's 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 actually like right on the ocean um so it's like they've got all these humongous tanks and then you can like look out in like like onto the ocean um what oh yeah that like you you should and and all of you guys too should all look up tokyo disney sea because it's insane but it's it's kind of like the uh, um, like the animal kingdom, but for sea, <laughs> um, and that's what <laughs> that's kind of like what the theme was. Um, and oh, so it's I too bad they don't own Aquaman. I know, right? <laughs> Aquaman is it's not Marvel; it's the other one. DC. It's DC. Yeah. It doesn't look like. Um... Well, wait. It's talking about. They're listing the cast for the ghost host, and it says someone's name in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at the list, and it doesn't. Oh, yep, I totally skipped it. Tokyo Disneyland, and it's in the area of Fantasyland. It's been operating for 37 years, so my research was not very good there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm after this I think I'm just going to go to YouTube and just watch all of the <laughs> different haunted mansions. <laughs> so, um to end uh end the episode uh with a little little bit of history, um since we since we're just wiki uh pirates right now, um <laughs> Disneyland, uh the original haunted mansion um opened up in 1969. Um the Magic Kingdom version opened October 1st, 1971. That's when um, Disney World opened. Uh, Tokyo Disneyland was the, was the third one. Um, and, and Tokyo Disneyland uh, came out um, kind of right after uh, Magic Kingdom did. Um, that opened in uh, 1983. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one... Um, this one is actually the Tokyo Disneyland one is a little different. It's more, I think it's like more Western themed. Uh, if I remember that correctly, unless that's the Hong Kong Disneyland one, Mystic Manor. No, it's not. No. Um, so Tokyo Disneyland, uh, Disneyland Park Paris, uh, that's Phantom Manor, uh, opened in 1992. 
That one's in Frontierland. Is that the Western theme? Yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because um, they were going to open up um, way back in the day, not way back in the day, but um, when they were coming up with uh, Frontierland at Magic Kingdom, they were going to open up Thunder Mesa, um, which was going to be like a full... Um, uh, like a full land of frontier land that was like everything was was going to be connected. Um, but instead of doing that, they put in Pirates of the Caribbean because everybody at um, in or Orlando wanted Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but in, in Paris, that's what they did was they ended up making basically Thunder Mesa. Um, so Big Thunder Mountain was in the middle, but it also kind of ties in Phantom Manor and all that stuff. Um, so that's cool. Um, Hong Kong Disneyland was the next one in 2013, uh, and that one is uh, Mystic Manor, and that was the that's the last one. That's pretty recent. So yeah, Hong Kong Disneyland in, in Hong, Hong Kong Disneyland is pretty recent, anyways. Um, so I think that I think that's all of the Disneyland style parks that are out there. So the uh, haunted mansions are all in Disney like. Um, Magic Kingdom style parks. I think that's what they call them. Mm. So. So yeah, that's uh, our little our little talk about Haunted Mansion uh, and why we love it. And we gave you guys a little bit of history too. Um, but yeah, uh, any closing thoughts, Tatiana? <laughs> Stay spooky, friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Tatiana's going to open up her her own her own podcast, and it's going to be all about the spooky things of Disney. <laughs> That'd be that, cool. Yeah, and that's how she's going to end it. Oh, of course. It, no, you you would be you would be part of our podcast. You would just be another channel. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm the spinoff. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, uh, I'll, we'll have Tatiana on again to talk about some other stuff. I'm sure. Uh, but uh, thank you, Tatiana, for talking to me about. Um, haunted mansion and uh yeah helping me out with this uh with this episode yeah my pleasure great well that's all we got for you today we'll see you guys next time on miles from main street thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed the show please rate us on itunes and subscribe email us at miles from main street podcast at gmail.com with any thoughts and visit us on facebook under miles from main street We'll be bringing more to you weekly and look forward to talking to you then. Until next week, remember, some live close, but most of us don't. So let's talk about it. Mm -hmm.